I spent a lot of my childhood exploring Montana's Alpine, but back then it was a harsh time up in the mountains, and rides were usually cut short when you couldn't stand being soaked through anymore. But with bikes more capable and apparel designed to withstand the harshest conditions out there, these days we can go further, longer, and discover new areas. So I moved west to Washington a few years ago, and that freedom has continued as I've had opportunities to explore the Alpine. It takes work to get there, so oftentimes you're met with the craziest amount of quiet and stillness. The window to ride the Alpine can be short, and this time of year we're chomping at the bit to get those last Alpine experiences before the snow falls. When I was a kid, any type of trip into the backcountry was a big adventure because we didn't have great maps, we didn't have great bikes, we didn't have great clothing. But now I've got all those things dialed and I've spent a lot of years pursuing these backcountry adventures and it's super rewarding being able to put together big missions in some of the coolest places I could imagine. Getting to go to the Alpine and these far out places is a bit of a sensory overload. What draws me to these places is the ability to disconnect and appreciate the colors and wild Alpine, all while getting to ride my bike through the landscape as if it were a painting.